Hello everybody and be welcome to the Skyrim mod series. Today with timing is everything and the choice is yours. Both mods by Cryptopeer which are working pretty good together. What you need for timing is everything is Dawnguard, Hardfire and Dragonborn. There is no way around it and Sky UI which probably everybody of you knows. Timing is everything is a mod that lets you control when and how, though how is a little bit smaller, quests are starting or happening in the game. There are a couple quests that are affected by that and especially the most important part of those are the Dawnguard, the Hardfire, the Dragonborn Born, and the Dead requests. So what you can turn around here is for example for Dawnguard and keep in mind that you have to change the most of those things before they happen. If a quest is already happening and you change the requirement for it, which is mostly the level level, level requirement, then it will still happen, it will still continue because it's already it has already begun. There you can't do anything about that anymore. There is uh, one thing and that would be vampire attacks and how often they happen you can adjust that afterwards and then after the attack happened um, it will wait until the next level requirement but let's say here for Dawnguard for example you can change at which level they begin to actually attack uh, cities you can change when uh, soldiers are actually talking about that <coughs> Dawnguard is recruiting new guys and you check that out then because of that uh, here is how often or how high the chances that a vampire which can disguise you is actually attacking you and how often those uh, the vampires and the Dawnguard guys are attacking each other and you just click here and you can change uh, the percentage like the chance here how often it will happen and you can change and for example the Dawnguard recruitment, the level requirement at which they will start talking. You see it's going from 0 to 100, 0 won't happen of course, um, but you can just simply adjust your game like you wanted and try to play it a little bit in your way, because if you actually don't, if you're not interested in for example Dawnguard until you made some progress then you probably don't want those vampire attacks all the time or you don't want that the guards are just blabbering your ear full with that stuff every time you meet them for hard fire you can adjust when you um, have the option or you get those information that you can acquire those lands and build those houses on it and for dragonborn you can even choose at which part of the main story you have uh, the option to go there or then um, the guys go after you from from the dragon the other dragon board let's say it like that uh, you can choose here in which part um, it will happen and if you choose after dragon slayer then of course you have to actually do the main quest completely so that you are able to do the dragonborn quest which would maybe make a little bit more sense thinking about it but it's an expansion anyway, so they <coughs> thought that you'd be done with it until then. Uh, additional to that, you can also adjust the minimum level. So if you are actually done here, oops, if you're done with the main quest, um, or by the way, timing unknown, then it's random. If you are done with the main quest here, then you can say, okay, but if I'm not level 50, then uh, I don't want that because I feel weak. I'm a little pussy and I don't want that. So I I want to wait till I have superpowers. That request, not every of them is included, but for those that you have, you can also just that that would be useful if you say, okay, I don't want those dead requests or I don't want to do them. I don't want to see them in the game until I'm actually powerful enough to have the feeling that I could kind of get that item from that Dedra because um, he he thinks that I'm worthy of it now. So you can say, okay, I have, I have to be level 100 
for all of this stuff. No problem whatsoever. I'm gonna play until t level 200 anyways. So before I'm not super cool, nothing will happen and so on. Can change that here. And then there are some uh, miscellaneous quests which you can change. Um, and I'm not sure. I would imagine that um, some of them, like this, is for um, for the purchasing of land for Hardfire. And I would assume that uh, more quests will get added here. But um, what I find most important are actually the dead requests and the Dawn God Hardfire Dragonborn, like this. And of course, kill the giant is also important for that. But um, I could imagine that more quests will get added, and this is of course a very useful mod, um, especially if you're role playing and you want to have your own story. Then you don't want some fucks to come along and just screw you up. Simple as that. So keep this mod in mind. The other mod that is working pretty good with uh, timing is everything is your forced quests. The choice is yours, or the choice is yours for your forced quests. So just the other way around. See a hound on the so road. Um, Fine, for example, this guy is asking, "Did you see a town? hound on the road?" And so on. Uh, no, sorry, no, I no. haven't seen this, anything like if that. You willing but to yeah, if, good. if I see him, I'm, I'm gonna like I'm gonna do this quest. And um, now you will say that at this point I've actually decided that I do the quest. But now maybe there's a dragon coming down, so bam, and I get destroyed, and I think, oh god, fuck this, I'm gonna do something else first, and, uh, or I actually had something else in mind, but I'm gonna accept the quest, and then I'm gonna do something else, and so I can check later on my quest log, and then I see, oh yeah, I, I still want to do that, so let's go there and do that. And this is of course just one example, but there are other places in the game, other quests, where this could happen. So now, um, you when you exactly meet Barbas, or like, you walk around and you meet him, like, kind of random, then uh, yeah, you, see, you have a short conversation Barbara, with him, of course, and, I have a problem. and normally, I think you can help sort out. My master is normally, me out until I find you would who can say, uh, sounds easy enough, let's go find That's him, or, so you you're, lost, little, uh, you're a little lost puppy. And actually, both of those choices are accepting, running after him, and like using the next half hour. Now, the problem is if you don't know where to go, then it's hard to find a bar bus, and then you gotta check it out somewhere else. It's kind of weird that bar bus is just running away and whatever. Um, in this case, no, you can't say I've got I things know, to do, and he's Words like, oh god, dress. okay, Listen, then fuck off, leave me alone useful, here. And if you someday have the feeling me. that you want to hack me, then come to that place and we'll make love. So, um, what is what this mod is doing now, it's adding new dialogue options that um, let you decline those quests and uh, gives you the chance to make them at a later point in the game, which is really useful for a lot of people like me who uh, are getting a little bit annoyed of that on their playthroughs through the game when this stuff is happening again and again. And there are this is um, the first example that came in my mind, and I had this already this mod in episode 104, but uh, I don't know, I don't know what happened back then. In any case, uh, it's fitting very good with timing as everything, especially because it's of the same author. And you will see that uh, this will be very nice if you're trying to do your next playthrough. Especially if those two mods are very small, and because of that it shouldn't be any problem to use them. Thanks a lot everybody for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give the video a like, share it. Also, uh, I'm more active on Facebook, on Twitter now, so for updates, follow me there. And kudos and endorsements go, of course, to Crypto Peer. And I'll see you guys next time.